Nola Jet here at Lyuzas. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. Lyuzas Restaurant is one of two restaurants in the New Orleans area that is named Lyuzas. The other restaurant is called Lyuzas by the track. But this is just plain regular Lyuzas Restaurant. Lyuzas Restaurant opened back in 1947 and it's located in the New Orleans Mid City neighborhood at 3636 Bienville Street, which is about 3 miles and 10 minutes from the French Quarter. Lyuzas is noted for being a good restaurant and a great bar. They serve Italian Creole food, so you get a lot of the regular New Orleans Creole menu items along with good Italian food. Their bar is also famous or infamous for serving the coldest beer in town. And they have a really great old school neighborhood vibe. Sadly, we recently learned that the restaurant is now up for sale. So, when a buyer purchases it, we don't know what's gonna happen. So, things could change quickly from this old school neighborhood bar that we've enjoyed for many years. But right now, we're going to take a seat at the bar and enjoy a schooner of this amazingly freezing cold beer. <laughs> Coldest beer in the city. Roast. <laughs> Still very cold. Okay, I finished that one and got another one. You can see my fingerprint on the glass here. I have no idea what strange voodoo magic they use to keep their beer so insanely cold. This is literally the coldest beer I've had anywhere. Little, uh, little I use this. A little bit of amber and the schooner. Coldest beer in the city of New Orleans. This stuff is freezing cold. Prost! And I would be so bold as to say that it is the coldest beer I've had anywhere in the world. This is freezing cold beer. And they also have bushwhackers. So as we look around one last time in the bar, we're going to get up and go in the dining room now. And we're going to go find a table and take a seat and figure out what we're going to have for dinner time. So you can see that it's basically just two rooms. We have the bar area and then the dining room area. So everything's very simple and basic, but still classic. So this place has so much amazing, fantastic ambiance. And we're going to go pay a visit after those beers to the bathroom here. Look at this. On the floor urinal with ice poured in it. And then look at this picture here. Classic old school all the way. All right, so we finished our business in there. We're going to walk back out to get a table. Our restaurants are still under the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions. So we have limited seating capacity inside with more outside. But as we sit right here, we can still look around and look back into the kitchen from this spot. So this is a good area to check everything out and see some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Everything looks great. The only thing I wasn't happy with is the iced tea here is out of one of these automated machines and not freshly brewed. I should have just stuck with drinking beer. They have the menu written on the board here instead of giving out the normal menus that you hold, but let's take a look at this. So for apps and sides, they have onion rings, french fries, fried pickles, spinach lugia, eggplant medallions with red gravy, eggplant casserole, roasted golden beet salad, shrimp artichoke soup, Cajun gumbo or spicy shrimp merlton. Then we have Italian entrees and then sandwiches with French alata, shrimp, catfish, fried green tomato with shrimp remoulade, panneville, panneville parmesan, meatball, roast beef, grilled panne chicken, Italian sausage, hamburger, and then we have our salads and then sauteed or fried shrimp, half shrimp or oyster po' boy with a cup of gumbo or spicy shrimp merlton or shrimp artichoke. And then with more entrees, grilled or pan pork chop, fried chicken, 
And then we have fried grilled catfish, fried grilled shrimp, grilled penne chicken breast. So, quite a good selection of items for the night. So, I got a dinner roll and some butter to start my meal out with. So, we're just going to add a little bit of this real butter, none of that margarine stuff. It's got to be real butter. I do really get happy when I get real butter, and I get really unhappy when I get margarine. So, I'm always happy when a place gives me real butter. And this is a uh, nice little mini French bread baguette roll that's really good. And I also get a salad with my meal tonight, and it looks quite nice. And I got the house Italian dressing with it. So let's try this out and see how it is. So it's got a lot of spinach on there, and I do love a lot of good fresh spinach on my salad. And it's got some red onions, some red peppers, and a Creole tomato. So, mmm, very good tomato there. These red peppers look nice, and the red onion also looks quite nice as well, all with this delicious fresh spinach. And then it's got a little other uh, salad in there as well mixed in. And so this is a nice little uh, good salad to start off with. This is a nice touch as some places have stopped giving salads due to the pandemic. And if you like salad too, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to destroy this salad now because I'm really enjoying it. It's been a while since I've had a fresh salad. So that went down very easy and I did enjoy it. It's been too long. Now for my main entree, I got fried oysters and fried shrimp with a side of spinach lugia. You can also get fried seafood po'boys that are also quite good here, but I wasn't in the mood for a po'boy sandwich tonight and all that extra bread. I just wanted the entree. So let's dig on in. This looks fantastic, but of course they gave me bread anyway. So I've got uh, a half of a French bread loaf right here that I could uh, make into a po' boy if I wanted to. So they've also given me uh, a nice side of remoulade sauce to go ahead and dip my seafood into if I want to. And uh, if you've never tried remoulade sauce, it is a wonderful Creole New Orleans uh, sauce that we use. I'll put a link down in my Amazon links in the description below. If you're interested in trying out remoulade sauce, I definitely suggest you try it out. It's got a great flavor to it. If it's something you've never tried, I highly recommend that you order some from Amazon and try that out now. Uh, that will give me a small little tiny commission, but it won't cost you anything extra. But it does help support the Nola Jet channel, and I appreciate it a lot. This spinach lugia is fantastic. It's uh, spinach with olive oil and then just very thinly sliced garlic you can see in there. So that's really good stuff too. So that is my favorite side item I have here. But then look at this uh, delicious fried shrimp. Everything here is fried perfectly. And we have a fried oyster right here. They definitely fry all the seafood perfectly here. Fried oyster is definitely a wonderful thing there. Everything is just delicious and wonderfully prepared. And there's more of this wonderful spinach. You just look for the uh, little thinly sliced garlic pieces in there. Ooh, it all adds such really great flavor in there. You can see the garlic right there. There's little white pieces of garlic. Oh, look at all the sliced garlic in there. This stuff makes a great combination. It's so flavorful that it just explodes with delicious garlicky goodness and olive oil and the spinach flavors all go together so really, really well. If you love delicious flavors as well, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button like I'm destroying that delicious entree. So that was a really great meal. I enjoyed that. The total was $23.25 before tip and that didn't include my beers. But then I came back and got some more stuff. Here's the shrimp and artichoke soup, which uh, this is kind of a unique item here. Most other places in New Orleans tend to do an oyster and artichoke soup. So the shrimp is less common, but they definitely do a healthy serving of shrimp in this. Most of the Italian heritage that has contributed to the New Orleans Creole tradition was mainly from Sicily. So the Sicilians do love their artichokes. So we end up with a lot of artichoke items on the Italian Creole menus here. 
And that Sicilian tradition is so strong that many of the Sicilian immigrants and their descendants prefer being called Sicilian instead of Italian. And just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and it would really help me and contribute to the YouTube algorithm. So thanks so much. So I've destroyed that soup and now it's time for my roast beef po' boy. They have a really good roast beef po' boy here. So we're going to really have a good time with this. Look at all that roast beef coming out of it there. All right, so we're gonna look out here to the bar and uh, think about getting a beer after we finish this po' boy because this is gonna need some washing down. There's a lot of food right here. So I ordered my roast beef po' boy dressed, which that is lettuce, tomato, pickles, and usually mayonnaise, but instead of mayonnaise, I got mustard. Usually I prefer Creole mustard, but they uh, only had yellow mustard, so I got that instead. So we're going to have a good time with this, and I also added some Swiss cheese to keep it all structurally together better. We gotta maintain that structural integrity. And most po' boys in New Orleans are better eaten with two hands instead of one, but as I'm filming and eating, I'm gonna need uh, one hand to eat, one hand to film to make sure we get everything uh, captured for all of you out there. So, we're gonna have a little fun with this. Uh, we'll see how much I accomplish and if I cannot drop everything in the plate. So it's always a good time eating these huge po' boys with one hand. It definitely uh, is more of a challenge than I would have thought it would have been until I started trying to film it and eat it at the same time. But hey, it's uh, always good to have a challenge in life, right? Keeps life interesting. The old ancient Chinese curse that has defined 2020. I think we've all had enough interesting things happen in 2020 to last a long time. All right, so here we go with the Swiss cheese. It's uh, melting and falling off. I don't know if that's gonna help me maintain structural integrity with the cheese falling off of it. Uh, so far though, the bread and the meat are staying together pretty well. And uh, strangely enough, the cheese has split. I've fallen out of structural integrity with somehow when that's supposed to be the glue that holds it all together. Of course, uh, only I could find a way to make the melted cheese fall out of my po' boy. All right, that's half of it down. Now we're going for the second half. Here we go. So we're halfway down. Can I finish the other half? Comment below. Think I can finish this whole half after eating the other half, the entire po' boy. This is a lot of food. A lot of bread, a lot of meat, a lot of things going on here. So it's a huge sandwich. This is quite a large portion. Okay, I've got some good uh, skills here. I think I've got a good uh, second win going with the second half. I think I'm gonna be able to do well. Feeling uh, pretty strong here. Pretty, uh, pretty sure that I'm gonna be able to pull through Comment below and let me know what you think about the New Orleans po' boys. Do you prefer the roast beef? Do you like the fried seafood styles? And uh, what are your favorite New Orleans Creole soups that you've seen? Do you like the uh, shrimp artichoke soup, the gumbos, all the different things that we have here that are a little bit different other places? Have some uh, leftovers on the plate though, so we do have the third half of our po' boy. This is the third meal here after the first and second halves of the po' boy. We get our third meal here out of it. Usually with most New Orleans po' boys, there's quite a lot of stuff that drops out of the bottom. So we get another meal out of it for the ones that are properly overstuffed. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Lyuzas is for sale and that does put this place at risk. A new buyer can change things radically, completely, just make everything different. And unfortunately, we've seen that happen far too many times. So if you do have the ability to get to New Orleans during these challenging times during the pandemic and get this place a last sample before any potential new ownership takes over, I would say do it sooner than later because you do want to give this place a try. It is worthy. So the total of my mill was $24.70. 
And I had a fantastic time for both of my dinners I had here. So if you can, you definitely should get here as soon as possible for good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.